All right, good morning. It is 10.33 and I'm late for class. Class starts at 10.30. Like I said, it's um, 10.33 and I just left my apartment and my class is on the other side of campus. Um, I'm still doing field experience, so that's why I'm late. I'm walking through mud right now and I'm like, huh. Um, but yeah, so I'm late because I can't ever do anything. Um, I, there's construction going on by the school I'm at, the only way back to campus. I have to sit for a while and I don't get out till 10. Um, it's a five minute drive without construction. So, you know, it's a 10 minute drive with construction and then I never get anything ready the night before or the morning of. So I'll do it after field clearance and it takes me a while and I also move really slow because honestly I'm just done with the semester I can't be bothered <laughs> to get to most of my classes on time um, if I'm leaving straight from my apartment but it's fine um, it's been a long time since I checked up um, my life really hasn't been that exciting or if there are exciting things that happen, they happen when I'm not expecting them. So um, I don't vlog. I'm like, trying to hold everything, but um, I got my Dr. Pepper in my frozen cup. Um, I don't know, I have so many cups and I never use them because like, I don't know, it's just inconvenient. It's easier just to drink out of a bottle and throw them away and not have to carry them. Um, I'm going to try to start drinking more out of my cups and actually using them. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a little summary of what this week's going to look like. So it's my last week for field experience. I went today. The last day is Wednesday. Um, so I do 8 to 10 on Wednesday and then I am done for the semester, which means I get some time back. I go to the gym three times this week and then I am done with the gym for this semester. Um, so I get more time back. Um, I mean, if I have been urged to go to the gym, I will. Um, but right now I'm just trying to finish out the semester. So I don't think I'll be going to the gym for the rest of the semester. I'm only doing it for the t-shirt. Um, tomorrow I have a school board meeting to attend. I have to write a paper over it. And then I'm going home Thursday. There's t-shirts being given out, being given out on Thursday. So I'm gonna leave kind of late. Um, haven't decided yet, but I think I'm gonna leave Friday night because I have work all weekend um, because we're gearing up for Thanksgiving and I work retail. So yeah, I might vlog next week and like do some like work vlogs. Um, just kind of show you how crazy my life is. I'm um, trying to balance school and work. Um, I don't work all this week, but I work on the weekends. <laughs> and I kind of want my weekday schedules back because I worked less on the weekends, but also gives me more time for homework. So, so my cup definitely just spilled, but it is, um, 1041 and I'm in I'm at class so I will talk to you later. So I'm currently at the gym. Um I'm gonna go eat lunch after this and then do some homework before my class. I'm just trying to waste time because I really don't want to be here today. And those are people working out right there, which is why I'm being quiet. But yeah. So hello, um, I am currently drying off my shirt because I spilled Mountain Dew on my shirt. Um, the shirt, I mean the cup I showed this morning, um, it's got a big enough hole at the straw that um, I often tuck drinks underneath like my little wing here. Um, if I'm holding a lot of things in my hands just because it's easier to hold a drink there than really anything else but if I hold it there it I probably explained it but it sloshes out the, the top of the straw hole 
and spills everywhere. So it got, it soaked my, like just a corner of my shirt, just right here on the like shoulder, um, the front of my shoulder. So that will dry by the time I get to work, especially with the air conditioner on and everything. Um, not too worried about that. I'm already going pretty much be late for work. Um, I usually like to leave with a 15 to, uh, 10 to 15 minute buffer. Um, it is 428 and I have to leave by 430. So, um, I'm setting everything up right now. I'm, uh, texting my manager, telling her I'm probably gonna be late. So, I went to the gym, like you saw. I literally had, like, four minutes and 30 seconds logged on the bike, because I rode the stationary bike, um, and then my friend was ready to go. Um, so... Yeah, I didn't- I didn't get much done. Definitely lied when I said that I was working out for 30 minutes. Um, but it's fine. I just want to get this over with and get the t-shirt. Um, and then I went to lunch in the dining hall, which did not slap today. It was real not good. Um, I ate some pizza. I ate some chocolate pudding. Um, I tried to eat my pasta, but it was cold. And, um, I... Tried to eat the grilled cheese, but the bread was so stiff and hard that I could not. So, I, and I didn't feel like getting up to get more pizza or to get the Rice Krispies or the peaches. So, I was, and I had a bunch of snacks in my bag that I packed that, uh, this morning. And I'm like, okay, I'll eat the snacks if I get hungry, which I was still hungry. So, um, and then I went to the building that all my classes are in. Uh, which is usually where I study in between my 10.30 and my 2.30. Um, and so I was gonna do some homework. Uh, found out that the chapter is like 40 pages, 30 to 40 pages long. Which is going to be terrible, but I'm going to attempt to read it. At the very least, um, read a section and do my reading response over. Um... So that's kind of how my life is going with that. Um, I was so tired. I kind of dozed off for five, ten minutes today. I put my head down and I slept. Um, it's gonna get a little bumpy, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, and so I didn't really get much done. I read like a page, um, or like I guess two pages, um, technically that chapter and then I had to go to class. Um, supposedly, according to the syllabus, my documentation for field experience is due today in one of my classes. Good morning, it is 7.55 and um, I'm gonna be late for class again. And it's currently 48 degrees and I am freezing, but I know if I take a jacket, I will be hot later. It's that weird spot in the air where you're getting a jacket in the morning but then you'll have heat stroke by the afternoon. So I don't know, I'm walking in flip flops. The grass is still dewy. So my feet are wet now. So it's 8 02. I just got here. Um, I just saw a bunch of my classmates like streaming in. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna update you later because there were a lot of people when I was walking. All right, and it is now 3 48, and I am just getting back on here to make another video. Um. Yeah, today was hectic. I went to my U.S. schools class, um, and she told us we don't have class on Thursday, so uh, my first class is at 10.30 in the morning, so I get to sleep in until like 9. That's very exciting, um, when I'm waking up at 6. It was just lecture, and honestly, it was just a lot of court cases, and there were just so many that I stopped writing them down halfway through, because I'm like, this is too many. Like, there's no way she's gonna make us remember all this. She's finally letting me record. Okay, I hate Apple products. Oh my goodness, the storage on here sucks. I have like 32 gigs on this iPod. Um, 17 of that were photos, like my all my videos apparently, and then like three gigs of that is music. And I'm like, how does? So I went through and I deleted, and then I didn't realize the recently deleted still doesn't clear up storage, and I'm like... So I cleared my recently deleted, and then it finally worked. Okay, 
Oh my goodness, I guess it's gonna force me to keep up with uploading my, or exporting these videos to my computer. Goodness, okay. So, I don't even know what I was talking about when it cut me off. Ugh. Yeah, so it was just a bunch of court cases and I was bored. I'm not bored, uh, I was bored, but I just hmm, did not feel like writing all those. So, um, I, um, then I went out into the lounge that's in the building, uh, which is literally just a little area with computers, and I got on the computer and I tried to work on my case study but realized I didn't have everything that I needed and it was all in my apartment, so I'm like, hmm, I'll just mess around. So I was just on my phone. Then I went to my math for the child class and we had to go outside and measure a statue because it was a math activity. Um, and then I got out of that class a little early and I had registration today for the spring semester. So uh, yeah, that was a mess. Um, I went to the student center, logged onto a computer, had my laptop open so that I could see the courses I wanted to take on my laptop. And then on the school computer, I had the portal page up to register for classes. So next semester, I'm going to have five classes. Four of them are education, and one of them is a science class. The only class I was worried about getting into was science. Those usually fill up really fast because um, since my school is really small, the science classes have room for like 20 to 25 people. So usually seniors are forced to wait until the end, like till their senior year. And so since I register after seniors, we register by grade level. There was seven spots left and then as soon as registration opened, it filled up. And I'm like, how? How? I'm quick at it. I don't understand how y'all already got through. So I had a little bit of a panic attack. <laughs> And I emailed the professor, and I did this freshman year when I was trying to get into biology. And she's like, nope, sorry, uh, it depends on the seats for the lab, and I only have 20 seats. And I'm like, so I emailed the professor this year, and I'm like, please, like, I graduate, like, I, um, it is my last spring semester, and I need this class to graduate, and it was full, and my computer messed up, and I just went on this rant. And he's like, you're just in time, I open, or, nah, that's later. But yeah, I was having a freak out, um, and I was stressed out, <laughs> and it took me a minute to register for the rest of my classes because I just was unmotivated and, like, depressed. I was so upset. Um, so I registered for my other classes, so I'm taking methods of ESL, um, elementary social studies, instructional strategies for EC through 6, and concepts of math 1. Um, so that's my schedule for next year. Um, yeah, so I ate my lunch and I just kind of watched TV. I'm re-watching Blackish because I watched it on my friend's Hulu account and then she stopped paying for Hulu so I got my own and now I have to find where I was. So, but yeah, um, so I'm just gonna rewatch the whole thing. And then I, uh, went to Spanish, and I did not want to go to Spanish, because I was already not in a good mood, and Spanish is not put me in a good mood. So, went there, nothing eventful, uh, Spanish. I went to ESL. Um, oh yeah, my field experience teacher messaged me, uh, or emailed me, and she's like, Hey, I, I forgot to tell you, I'm not gonna be there tomorrow. I'm like, because tomorrow's my last day. And she's like, but I have an experienced sub coming in. She's great. She's a retired teacher. Um, she's, you, she'll give you the evaluation form that I filled out for you. And, you know, you can observe her. It's fine. I'm like, okay. And then she emails me like 30 minutes later. And she's like, oh, so she canceled. And the sub is really bad. So I don't know what you want to do. If you want to change your time. Or if you want to. And I'm like, uh. So the only time I really have tomorrow is 12.30 to... 2.30 and I told her that and she said it's okay which means I'm going to have to be late to intro but it's fine um so yeah um that once she told me that time was fine it all worked out pretty much um and then I uh 
yeah, I, so I went to Spanish and then I went to ESL and then during ESL I got an email uh, from the astronomy professor and he was like, just in time, I opened it up for you. Go ahead and try again. And I got astronomy. So I have five classes and it all worked out and I'm a lot happier. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, and so I went to ESL and I kind of played Sims during ESL because uh, I'm just, I don't like that class, but it's fine. Um, and then I came back here. Um, I have a board meeting tonight. I'll try to vlog a little bit. Um, yeah, I I looked it up where where the location is, and I'm like, I have no idea what this is. So I had a glass professor, but I was also dressed professionally, so I'll just wear what I was planning to wear tomorrow, and I'm not gonna be in the shirt for very long, so I'll just rewear the shirt tomorrow. I don't know. <sighs> But yeah, so eh, it's been a hectic day, um, and I'm going to do some homework in the ASC tonight. So right now I need to go take a shower. Um, I'm supposed, it's 4.30, and I'm supposed to meet up with my friend at 5.20 for dinner. So I have, and I wanted to put on makeup. I might still try to put on makeup. Um, but yeah, I also have to take my friend to feel experience, her feel experience at 8 a.m. Um, because she can't go when I'm going. Um, so, I have to wake up early for pretty much no reason, um, just to be nice. Um, so I'm probably gonna maybe do my makeup, do some homework, something along those lines, maybe take a nap. We'll see. Um, but I get to sleep in on Thursday, so it's no big deal. Um, yeah, and then I'm going home Thursday, and then next week's Thanksgiving, and then I have one more week of school, and then it's finals. But yeah, so I'm just, basically right now I'm just trying to wrap all my classes up and it's hectic. So I will talk to you guys later. Alright, hello. Um, it is now Wednesday, um, November 20th at, uh, like 6.42pm and I'm just now hopping on. Um, yeah, today's been a day. Last night was a night. Um, so I went to dinner, and then I went to the board meeting, where we sat for two hours <laughs> in the middle. They started the board meeting at, like, 6.30, promptly. 6.48, they went to go, like, talk about private matters. Did that for two hours, well, pretty much. Um, they came back at, like, <sighs> almost 8.30, like, 8.20ish. Um, and then I left before the meeting was over. I stayed till like 9, 10 with my friends. Then I left. I'm like, this <sighs> board meeting should not be past 9 o'clock or even 8. Started at 6.30, left like two and a half hours later, and they still weren't done. They still had like probably at least another 30 minutes or more. Um, <laughs> so, the district office, which is where the board meeting was, right next to a Dairy Queen, so I got myself some Dairy Queen. I got a blizzard. Um, Snickerdoodle blizzard. It was real good. Snickerdoodle cookie dough. Um, and then I went and I went to the student center and I did my case study for my literacy assessment class until 1 a.m. <laughs> I keep always procrastinate my case study. Um, we only have one more part left, thank goodness. But I always procrastinate it. <laughs> um, and it's like, it's not hard. It's just like, I don't know, we have this fake student and we have to like assess her reading and her writing and her comprehension and everything. And it's just like a lot of gathering the data pretty much. Once I actually got started, it was pretty easy. Um, I was, I got there, I want to say, right around 10-ish, like 9, 40, 10-ish, um, and then I left at 1, and I kind of didn't really start till 11, so really didn't take that long to do, and I took a lot of breaks, so, um, but I got it done, I got it turned in today. So, I don't know if I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, but I had to move my field experience time from 8 to 10 a.m. to 12.30 to 2.30 p.m. today. My friend was still going to go at 8 a.m. She doesn't drive, so I had to wake up. Um, I literally rolled out of bed at 7.45. Um, 
grabbed my keys, grabbed my shoes, and drove her over to the school. Um, so I drove over to school to get there at 8 a.m., and then I went to go get gas because I had, like, less than a quarter of a tank. Um, and I came back here, and I went back to sleep. Um, and I was supposed to wake up at 9.30, kept sleeping. I was like, I can sleep till 9.50. Woke up at 10. Um, I'm supposed to pick her up at 10. I was supposed to be at the school. The school is five minutes away, but right now there's construction um, right next to school. Um, that lasts from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. So I was in that window. And basically they have the entire road shut down to a one-lane road. So it adds at least five minutes, maybe more. Um, or it adds five minutes of sitting in traffic and then another, like, five minutes of driving 30 on a 55 road. Um, so, yeah, it, uh, I didn't get there till 10.15. And then I, like, I didn't get back here, I don't know when, probably, like, 25. Didn't leave my apartment till 10.34, so it was late to class, of course, my 10.30. Um, went to class, and uh, class ends at 11.20, at about 10.55, started asking us about our projects that are due on Monday, our group projects. And she's like, and our, my group had planned after class ended at 11.20 to start working on the project. Um, she's like, how many of you guys are almost done? Like, you only need to print stuff out. No one raised their hand. So 1055, we started working on our projects. Um, so we got that done. Thank goodness. Um, got it done just in time for me to leave for field experience. And I was late to field experience. Like, later than I've ever been. I was, like, at least 10 minutes late. Probably closer to 15. Because I left here, like, three minutes before I was supposed to be there. And, of course, it's at noon, so there was traffic um, on that construction road. So, yeah, I was a little bit late, and, you know, I have to check in in the office and everything. It just takes a while. Um, so, today in field experience, I was there during their math time. I was there literally the moment they got back from lunch, pretty much. So, I saw they did their warm-up, and then they did some fraction problems, and then they went into their stations. And in their stations, they are not allowed to talk to their teacher because she is at the um, her horseshoe table with students. Um, so, when I'm there, I'm they're supposed to ask me. They're only supposed to ask me. And so, it's a little difficult because I don't even know half the time what they're supposed to be doing, especially when they, like, finish their stations. Um, one, one girl was like, I finished this and I've done the other paper, like, ten times already. Because, I guess, she just hasn't switched out the activities in the stations and, um, they've been rotating a lot. And so I was like, <sighs> and I was trying to think, and I'm like, okay... And she's mentioned something about, like, the other group that's supposed to be on iPads doing Imagine Math being on iPads doing Imagine Math. And I'm like, why don't you go grab an iPad? Like, it's math stations. You're going to be doing math on the iPad. I don't think my teacher will have a problem with that. And if she said anything to her, I was going to step in and be like, my fault. Didn't know what they were supposed to be doing when they were done. Like, um, there was a station where they're supposed to be um, counting coins. And it says, when you're done, create your own, like, build, like, draw your own coins that equal the value of the coins on your worksheet. So they had something to do after they're done, but I looked for a instruction sheet and there was none. Um, so I was, I was like, get on iPad. Um, and I had to help someone solve math. And so, like, that took me a minute because I had to sit there and, like, think about it. Um... <laughs> But, yeah, I, I ended up leaving at 2.30, uh, because I had a class at 2.30, and I was like, and she gave me my evaluation form back that I gave her on Monday. And so I, um, looked at it in the car, and I cried. Um, she gave me a really harsh evaluation. My teacher last year just gave me all five straight down. It's, a on a scale of one to five, it's a couple different, um, like... Criterion? Criterions? Um, different things that I'm expected to be doing while I am um, at field experience. So I'm just going to read a few uh, just so you can get an idea. So like 
works properly in collaborative with others, asks questions regarding insights and instruction, attends consistently, interacts appropriately with students, takes initiative, um, carries out teachers' directions, manages student groups effectively as an authority figure, um, things like that. And um, so it, it was scale one to five, five was excellent, four was above satisfactory, three was satisfactory, two was below satisfactory, and one was unsatisfactory. I got all twos and threes. Um, I just don't, I, I was upset. Um, I'm a people pleaser and um, when I'm doing something wrong, I need someone to tell me and she never told me anything. Um, so I was like, I don't, I can't fix this if you don't tell me. Um, so yeah, and then some of them was just like, like presents an appropriate professional image. I got a two and I'm like, well, I dress professionally like, I don't know. And, like, the only time I really sat down was during lessons because I don't, I don't, she told me to sit, first of all. Second of all, I don't, I don't know. I was just very confused. Um, I don't know, it says, like, interacts appropriate with students was below satisfactory, and I don't know what that means. Like, I would give the students, like, a, a side hug every now and then, but so does she. So, I don't know how I don't interact appropriately with students. I don't know. Like, the satisfactory I'm not too worried about, because, like, whatever. Um, she actually gave me satisfactory for is on time, and I was always late. But, um, I got a two for interacts with the other faculty and staff appropriately, and works cooperatively and collaboratively with others. I talked to the staff when they talked to me. Like, the only time I got to talk to them was at recess and they had the monitor at recess so I didn't want to bother them I don't know and like I didn't like they would always like they would split up at the game recess then they would end up coming into a little circle and talking and I didn't want to ever walk over to them and just seem like I'm a little like little duckling following its mama like I don't know <laughs> um I got a two for carrying out teacher's directions which every time she told me to do something I did and then, um, attended the material, space, and activities was also a two. And I'm like, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know. But, like, the, like I said, the threes I'm not too concerned about. Because, like, it's, it's satisfactory. Like, she probably, like, to get a four or five, I probably had to go, like, above and beyond, like, two or three times above over and beyond like that's what it seems like but I don't know like I mean I was never on my phone I don't know um but so that upset me a lot and I just kind of had to suck it up and go to class because uh, again class at 2 30 and I just stayed in my teacher clothes uh, to kind of prove that I was at field experience and because I didn't have time to change yeah I, I sat in class and then there were therapy llamas I posted it on my Instagram <laughs> So I got to uh, take a picture of the llama and pet the llama, and it was very soft, and they were very nice. Um, I came back here, and I um, have just been relaxing, <laughs> uh, watching Hulu and eating dinner, um, and I'm about to pack up and go to the student center to actually work on homework now that it is almost 7. I also have to go to the gym uh, tonight. I don't know. So... Yesterday was bad. Today's bad. I hope it starts to get better um, because I just, I can't. I mean, literally the only reason I hopped on here uh, when I did was because um, my computer keeps disconnecting from the internet. So uh, I'm getting kind of frustrated. So I'm just going to go to Sun Center and hope that it connects better there. Um, I probably won't update anymore tonight. It's not going to be anything interesting, just homework. Um, so I will update you tomorrow, which is when I am going home. So I'm going to try to vlog. I don't know how effective it's going to be because people are walking in class right now. We'll see. Um, yeah, so uh, it is uh, Thursday at 10.14 and I'm headed to class. Um, my U.S. schools, my ADM, was canceled. Uh, she canceled on Tuesday. So I got to sleep in. I didn't wake up till 9.30 instead of 6.30. So... That was nice, but it felt like I had literally been asleep 
for a second until my alarm went off. Um, even though I went to bed at like 2. But anyway, um, I'm walking the math on the child right now. If I had not missed the two days that I missed a couple weeks ago, I would have skipped. I think we get two free absences. Um, but I would skip today because we have a guest speaker. And I looked at the slides and I just really don't want to listen to that. So, whatever. I brought my laptop just in case she puts us behind our laptops. Um, and I also brought a textbook to read in case she doesn't let us be on our laptops. So, um, looks like it rained overnight. Um, yeah, and then I have lunch. No Spanish. Then I have ESL. And then I have to go to the gym. And I have to finish packing. And then there is a hot chocolate bar tonight. That's giving us free shirts, so I need to go to that, and then I get to go home. Good bright side, I get to miss some traffic. Downside, I'm gonna get back really late, but it's fine. Um, hoping to leave 7:30 at the latest, and that will put me there at nine. So, um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. So I'm gonna log off for now. Bye. So it is 7.09 and I'm headed home. Um, I'm upset. Um, I, the reason I stayed so late is because there was an event and they were giving out shirts and it said starts at 7 and I was like okay and I just kind of saw a blob of people and so um, I didn't really get there early. Turns out they started like handing out like the mugs you could decorate at 6.30, thought the mug decorating was optional. Apparently you have to decorate a mug, get hot chocolate in the mug, and then go get a t-shirt. So like they ran out of t-shirts by 7 o'clock, pretty much. Like, pissed off. I'm, I'm so upset. Um, That's not how things work. If you start at 7, start at 7. Don't start handing out things until 7. 7. I don't know. I'm upset. And I don't know why I did it. I don't know. 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 And the shirt was actually cute this year. It was long sleeve and had a sloth on it. A little Christmas sloth. I'm so upset. I could have been home a lot earlier. I could have been on the road by now. I could have been almost home. I could have left like six o'clock. I don't know. I'm I'm upset. Probably won't get home till like nine. Legitimately angry, like <laughs> Yeah, I didn't even get hot chocolate because I'm upset. <laughs> I don't know. This is ridiculous. I wish that I would have just skipped this event. And I'm gonna be upset. Every time I see someone wearing that t-shirt, I hope I never see anyone wearing that t-shirt like the one last year that I actually have. I don't know. The one last year worked a lot better. This one, it should have just stayed with what you did last year. I don't know. 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 I just can't even, I can't think of any words. So my math for the child class ended up, our guest speaker was one of our students. She had to do like a lesson presentation for her honors class. Um, and then I had to eat Skittles. I went to lunch. I almost finished the chapter of, this, of the textbook I have to read. Went to Spanish, went to ESL, got out at like three, worked at the gym. Um, and then I, I can't even talk about my day, I'm so upset. 
Um, I just kind of watched TV and ate dinner and packed. And now my car is all packed and I'm ready to go home. And I'm just ready to pet my dogs and let go of this terrible week. It's been an absolutely terrible week. Nothing's worked out for me. I don't know why I even tried to do this because nothing this week has worked out for me. So why would this simple thing with getting a t-shirt work out for me? I don't know. I don't know why I'm having a bad luck streak lately, but here I am. Hmm. So, yeah. I guess I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Um, I mean, it's not school related. Um, I might vlog, I don't know, when I'm doing some homework or something. Maybe I'll force my boyfriend to make an appearance. I don't know. Anyway, I should call my dad and I should leave uh, before I just get too upset. Bye. Hello. It is 4.52, Friday, November 22nd. I'm just now hopping on. Um, set my alarm for 10. Set my alarm for 10. Woke up at 12.30. And with a plan of a lot of things to do, not much time to do it. Because my boyfriend usually gets off work around 4. So that's usually... My stopping point. I don't know why I'm out of breath. <laughs> so I took a shower, did my laundry, finished the chapter I was reading yesterday, okay. started a new chapter. That's about all I did. <laughs> Watch some TV. Um, yeah, I'm about to go have dinner with him and hang out with him for the night. Um, I'll start a video and see if he'll let me. Right, well. Anyway, I'll talk to you later. So, um, I didn't realize it was 57 degrees out, and I thought it was going to be 70 all weekend, so I brought, like, t-shirt and flip-flops and no jacket, so I'm wearing my boyfriend's jacket because it's cold, but, um, also, there's a spot right over there. It wasn't open when I got here, so my car is parked all the way on that side. Anyway, we're going to Costco, and then we're headed to Red Robin. Uh, because I convinced him to go to Red Robin, and then we have to go to the store, because he's out of food. So, yeah. I'm gonna try to get him to watch Grey's Anatomy at night, because I want to watch it. Hey, okay, uh, he's back, so I'll let you go. Long story short, I make bad choices. Um, it's currently like 1.30. My phone. Yeah, right. 1.35 in the morning. And I have to be up at 7.30 to get to work by 10. But, um, yeah, so I went to the car wash. And then, um... Went to Costco, picked up some things, went to dinner, and after dinner we decided not to go to uh, the store because it was late and it was cold and it's Friday so a lot of people were there. So, instead we just went home and watched Grey's Anatomy and we watched Superstore. So that was nice. Um, I've been home for like two to three hours now, and I've just been watching Blackish. Um, I've been really pissed at that show lately. I started, I watched it when I used my friend's Hulu, and then I got my own Hulu, and I don't know where it was, so I'm just re-watching it. Um, I don't even remember the episodes I watched, so I guess it's good. Um, because I'm not, I don't feel like I'm re-watching episodes, you feel? Um, yeah, so I'm about to head to bed. Um, I'll try to update in the morning, but I could be running late to work. So I might have to update when I get off work or at lunch or something. So, yeah. Um, actually, no. I'm not gonna <laughs> back up. I'm ending the vlog here. It's Friday. Um, I'll pick back up on Monday. I go to school Monday, Tuesday, and then I'm off of school Wednesday through Friday, and then of course the weekend. Um, not off work though. Mm -mm. I work at least Thursday and Friday. I know I'm off Saturday, Sunday, and that's why I'm working this Sunday. 
because I'm off the next weekend. Um, I don't know what my schedule's like Monday through Wednesday. I'm hoping, I don't know, I'm hoping I only work Wednesday. Hoping I don't work Monday and Tuesday because Monday I need to get homework done and Tuesday I want to go home. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. Um, related stuff next week. Um, also some school related stuff. I've got a lot of homework to catch up on. Um, after this week, we have one more week and then it is finals. Um, so I've got a lot of homework to catch up on so I can prepare for finals. Yeah, but, um, yeah, that's about it. Like I said, I am signing off for this vlog and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.